I think a lot of the nerves and uh, as far as being a first time head coach, a lot of that's gone now. We got stuff figured out how we, really, how we like to do stuff instead of trying everything out, trial and error until we find something we like. Uh, we definitely know how, you know, as far as the you know, paperwork side of it, we're getting more familiar with that. We're not chasing that stuff around as much. Get ahead stuff on that and uh, practice planning and preparation and all that stuff is starting to come second nature now, so it's not quite as hectic as it was the first couple of years. As far as the competition, I don't know if we if they did us any favors moving down. They still got a lot of tough tees, you know, with Franklin Algaville and Maple Grove and Randolph. Those are perennial powerhouse schools. So, I mean, it's a small, we're in a smaller class, but I don't know if the competition has dropped anymore. And the coaching down there is definitely right up there with anybody in the season. Also, with Coach Fisher and Coach Bartosi. I mean, these guys are some of the best around. So, I mean, it's, we're in a smaller class. We just missed it last year by three kids. So, we were one of the smaller seeds, if not the smallest seed to begin with. So, it might help us a little bit. But, um, I don't think there's going to be much of a drop in competition, that's for sure. Yeah, I think we're a little early to comment on that. Um, I know he's kind of going through the same stuff we have the last couple of years as far as you know, numbers and, and uh, struggling with the record now. But uh, I'm sure that uh, Coach Sweatland is going to get things turned around in there. He's, he's a great coach, and great guy. Uh, but as far as their personnel and that, all, the only thing I've seen is stuff from seven and sevens, and that's not much to really go on. It's just basically flat football. So uh, we'll see what happens when they get their line in there, and we'll see what kind of how we're going to attack them. I mean, ever since I started coaching you know, midgets and peewees in, in uh, 1999, you know, it's always kind of a dream to get back and coach her on the modern. Especially being able to step in when they need, when they really need, you know, to keep the tradition going. Where there was a threat of merger, and we kind of fended that off, even knowing that it was going to be a couple of lean years before we get things turned around. And the growth and the excitement around the team, um, the, around the school. I mean, it's just been it's been great to be a part of it all. Especially coming back and coaching with the, you know, all the guys, you know, Coach Hosteller. I've coached with since day one, and Coach Ross, Coach Galanti, and now this year we have two more, two new additions, Coach Parisi and uh, Coach Coronado. So it's, uh, I think I'm really excited about this year. Just come out and support us. Uh, you know, we always tell these guys, you know, that I'm sure they get sick of hearing about, oh, well, this is what it was back in the day. Well, you know, back in the day it was three and four deep around the whole place, and you get out of the lights at Vets Park and it's magical down over there. You know, you get the crowd, you get the home. They got the pep band back this year. I mean, the biggest thing, you know, then these kids get a sense that they're playing for not only themselves, their parents, the school, but also the community. And uh, it's one thing I think Sal Mike has always prided itself on is they're playing not only for themselves and the teams of the future, but the 100 years of warriors that came before them. Just exciting, so we can get some, get all our, all the community members down there and support us, and uh, hopefully we're gonna turn this thing around and start making everyone proud of us again. This year, I mean, two years ago as a sophomore, Jeremiah Shoup was our MVP, and uh, we lost him last year in February due to a torn ACL. He missed the whole season, so we're excited to get him back and make it a fold, and. Uh, Couple kids, Tory Ball. Last year he was about 140 pounds. This year he's about 185, and we got him back. And him in a, you know, a bigger role. Tyler Hedlund, uh, he's going to be all in the field for us, safety on defense, and he's going to be the Swiss Army knife on offense because we're going to stick him everywhere. Uh, Ira John, another kid who really. Hit the weights hard this off season and really filled out good for us. He was about a buck sixty last year. He's about two hundred now, and he might be one of the fastest kids on the team. Uh, last year he played some middle linebacker for us. Hopefully he slides back in there, tight end, and uh, he, you know, he really stepped up this off season. 
Um, then we got Nick Johnson coming back. He's been a, he, this will be his third year starting quarterback. Hopefully, expand his role in the offense. Uh, he's um, <clears throat> really worked on his hands catching the ball, footwork, and he does a great job at that wide receiver spot for us. And then uh, you know, then you got of course Zari Armstrong he filled in towards the end of last year, and uh, he really looks sharp. You know, I mean, it's just the seven on seven stuff, but throwing the ball around, I mean, he looks real sharp getting around there. If we can, you know, uh, protect him up front, give him a little time, I can't wait to see him, you know, spread that ball around a little bit. It'll be exciting.